What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Gael, and as you already know, the year 2022 is over, and we are now entering a brand new year. It is the year 2023, and for many of us, it's a brand new year for us to start something new, to start off fresh, to you know reset everything that happened the year before and create a whole new story, a whole new chapter in our lives this coming year. Now in this video, the reason why I'm making it is because I want you guys to do what I do sometimes whenever it's a new year. I want you guys to look back in the past year, 2022, to see everything that you've done or every decision you've ever made from January 1st to December 31st. I want you guys to understand that whether it was good or bad, it was a growing period for a lot of us, you know? Um, you know, we came out of a COVID pandemic before and that's okay, you know, for some of us it was a good time, for some of us it wasn't that great of a time. But in 2022, I want you guys to reflect on everything, you know? We have, we've had a lot of ups, we've had a lot of downs. Some days could have been better than others. We've met a lot of people, we've lost some people. And I just want you guys to understand that, you know, we're all in this thing called life together. You know, you're not by yourself. And I wish you guys, you know, were right next to me. I wish I could like speak to you guys face to face or you guys were right here next to me making this video, you know, so I can learn about how your year was like, whatever you're willing to share. You know, what was your ups and your downs? What was your, you know, your lessons that you've learned or lessons that you've taught? But, um, I can only speak for myself right now, but it's for myself, you know, I went through a lot of like ups and downs this past year. And I'm not saying my problems are bigger than anybody else's because I know a lot of people in this world have gone through way more stuff than I have. You know, it's a big world. Everyone has many experiences, but as for me, I had to learn a lot about, you know, you know, growing on my own. Um, you know, I had to face a lot of my, uh, anxieties or my my depressive moments and uh, I had to tackle that a lot um, this past year and then you know handling um, relationships with people and like trying to become better at communicating and you know controlling my emotions and stuff like that so I feel like that's been a big thing for me this past year and you know trying to handle this business um, thing that I'm trying to run with the whole freelance and I feel like that's something that I had to tackle a lot this past year. So that's been, you know, a challenge for me, you know, growing as a as a man, you know, um, understanding how to handle things financially. You know, I've had a lot of financial ups and downs, but it's something that I can take with me in the next coming year, you know, see all the stuff that I've done the past year and try not to repeat them within the next year, within 2023, or try to be better at something that I already was good at in 2023. And with all that, you know, I've had a lot of people, you know, stand by my side, you know, select a few people um, stand by my side uh, this past year to even help me uh, through this journey, you know, as becoming an older man and, and understanding, you know, what decisions I have to make for myself to help myself grow. But I feel like learning who you are is not something you can learn you know, in a few months or in a few weeks, I feel like it's a lifelong lesson from the minute, probably from the minute you start high school until later on, because you're still developing, your brain's still developing, and every new experience is something that, you know, forms your character and forms your emotions. But I want to say, you know, I've had a good amount of people, you know, to to help me out um, this, this past year. And, um, uh, you know, therapy. I, I started started therapy this year again. Um, I feel like that helped me a lot. So I advocate for therapy a lot for a lot of people who, you know, who are going through stuff, big or small, you know, it's always good to have uh, that person there to help guide you. You know, it's not a person to tell you what to do. It's a person to help you understand, you know, how to handle certain situations or to help you realize something that you probably haven't realized a lot. So I feel like every every man you know out there should um try to get therapy you know whether they need it or not you know just try it out see see if it's for you even the young and older women out there you know just seek therapy i feel like it's 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 something good it's something important i feel like that is something that you know kept me in line you know whenever like i catch myself like messing up sometimes but that's something i advocate hard for so with all that help that I've had this past year, um, there was a lot of goals that I also did achieve this year. I had some goals that I kind of did miss. 
Um, my year in 2022 started off better than the way it ended. So um, my goal for next year is to carry on that, that um, I would say that happiness, you know, that, that positive attitude to, uh, from the beginning to the end, you know, even if things go left. Um, I, that's something I want to achieve in 2022. Um, I took on way more clients than I did the past year in state. So I achieved that goal. And um, for 2023, I also want to, you know, expand my business even more. And what I mean by that is creating a better social media presence. You know, I've been very uh, skeptical or very hesitant whenever I'm posting stuff on TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram. So if you haven't followed me on any of those stuff, you guys should follow me on there uh, ASAP. But um, yeah, I want to create more of a social media presence because of the world that we live in. And I just want to connect with more people, more creative people. And that's my goal um, to do this, this year. I want to connect with the creative people within my city, but also outside of the city too. I, I feel like I know way more people outside of the city than I do know within my city. So that's something I want to achieve in this next year. And to be better financially, I feel like I was spending a lot of money uh, this past year. So um, I want to become better at that because one day I want to be able to buy my own house, buy my own home, you know, buy any clothes I want to get, all that stuff. So that's something that I want to do for 2023. And also it's to travel more, you know, see the world more. I didn't travel as much as I did uh, in 2022, like I did in uh, 2021. 2021, I was traveling a lot, but towards like the beginning or like the first quarter of 2022, I, I was traveling, but then it kind of slowed down um, during the summer, but it is what it is. Um, I just want to get back into that. Um, I want to be able, you know, to, to probably help my mom out, you know, help my parents out uh, more than I have been before. So, uh, you know, I, I, need to, I need to help them out, you know, just just support my people as much as I can because I feel like my purpose is not to be, you know, ordinary. I do feel like I want to be able to be extraordinary, whether that's to the world or whether that's to the people in my in my circle, people in my, in my area. I just want to be able to leave an impact for a lot of people. And I feel like in 2023, I got to tap into that some way, somehow. And um, I can't be slacking off because I do be catching myself slacking off a lot. And um, I can't do that, you know, I have to keep the motivation going and stuff like that. And that's something I want you guys to be able to do too. You know, even in our times of like lack of motivation, whether it's like going to the gym, like I have, like I have been doing uh, regularly or anything, anything you're passionate about, you know, it's just to keep pushing forward because whatever you love to do, um, it'll pay off. And that's such a, um, well, I can't even speak, but whatever you like to do, you know, just focus on it, be passionate about it, you know, do what you like to do for a good reason and uh, it'll pay off some way, shape or form. And uh, I feel like that's something I got to tap in this next year. You know, a lot, a lot of us are, have been taken by surprises by certain things, but we can't derail off, um, our, off our path or off our purpose. So. Um, that's something I want you guys to go off with uh, in this video. I, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let's just make 2023 very big. Um, we know we're getting older, so let's make it probably one of our biggest years yet. You know, try not to make any mistakes that might, you know, you know, just curve us off the wrong way. But that's, that's something I want to leave to you guys with. So that's the plan for 2023. You know, we up all 2023. Uh, that's, that's the motto, we up. And if and if things go left, we just say fuck it, we ball. You know, that's that's what I'm, that's what I'm going with. You know, that's what I say. If things go left, and uh, things don't go my way, we just say fuck it, we ball. But um, we up all 2023. You know, that's we're pushing, we're pushing it. So um, I just want you guys to go off with that motivation. Start off 2023 strong. Hit the gym if you haven't. You know, the gym's you know changes lives. You know, it might be hard, but if you just push at the gym, you're consistent with it. It'll change your life. Um, you know, focus on your careers, on your goals, finish school, whatever you got to do. Just do what you got to do in 2023 and, uh, you know, see where you go from there. I believe in all you guys. I have faith in all you guys. I love all you guys. And um, that's just the positivity we got to go with. All right. And I don't want to forget to mention, but um, what's your goals for 2023? You know, what's something you're aspiring to do in 2023? What are you trying to achieve in 2023? 
And what was something you learned in 2022? Um, what happened in 2022, ups or downs, you know, feel free to share that below, you know, let me know what, what you guys experienced, whether if you want to share or not, you know, I just want to see how you guys have grown. I want you guys to recollect what year you was like and where you came from and how you ended and what you're going to do later on. So feel free to share that below or wherever, you know, feel free to hit me up. We can talk about it and we can go on from there. I don't want to leave you guys with any, um, without any update. Um, I do have new stuff coming out. I have some new photos I'm about, to drop, I'm about to drop. I have some tutorials, editing tutorials for photo and little short videos to make on Instagram Reels or TikTok or on YouTube. Um, and I also am making uh, more instrumentals. I am working on the, on the music side of stuff, creative side of stuff. And don't think I forgot about that stuff. I'll make some more beat breakdowns. There's a beat breakdown I wanna make and the instrumental that's playing on this track or towards the end of this track, whatever it is, is something I've been working on. So hopefully you guys like it. So follow me more, uh, follow me for more on uh, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all that social media stuff. And I'll catch you guys soon, all right? I'm out of here. Be safe, 2023, we up. All right, be easy, peace.